It's been a long time since we installed Arrow OS on our devices and find out the things which are included in Arrow OS and if you want to install this thing or not why you should a lot more things we're going to discuss discuss about Arrow OS in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end I'm using the version which is having the October security patch November security patch is out while making this video and you might get the video about Arrow OS you might get the update regarding November update very soon November security patch but for now the october security patch is here arrow os always does not give you major customizations like that is why i'm not reviewing the month specific update i'm just reviewing it as it is what it is the things which are available how the default things are actually for example the default launcher which is of course not the pixel launcher as expectedly the default launcher is maybe a quick step launcher which includes a feature like all apps themed icon show google feed if you enable the all apps themed icons option this is how the ui is looking like not every custom launcher give you the facility of this but if this one is if this is your choice you will see this option double tap gesture is there which is working perfectly fine without having to enable it in the accessibility settings but i found for example if you're using a pixel launcher modded version sometimes you need to grant the permission in accessibility settings but in this case you don't need to you also have some developer options available so if you know what you're doing you can simply explore there are a lot of options a lot of settings available in this default launcher if you consider about arrow os you can check out this default launch or you can change this if you want to by using magisk modules it's up to you but it's not compulsory the default launcher is still not bad if we move on to the quick settings panel what i found here is the dark quick settings panel background whenever you use this thing on your device even if you use a light mode even if you use a dark mode you will always see the dark background the black background which actually looks okay okay it's up to you it's user's own preference if you want to use this thing or not adding or removing tiles is quite easy you don't need to hold drag and drop simply one click and the tile will be added one click the tile will be removed so this is what we have one thing which I found here is in app section, if we're able to notice, we don't have the game space, which is a uh, kind of weird because a lot of customers are giving you a custom game space, maybe which you don't have in the Pixel devices or even the simple gaming dashboard, which you have in Pixel devices. Unfortunately, it's not. There. As far as I know, Arrow OS is based on AOSP. So all the AOSP features are, of course, present. One thing is good, I think, at least if you move on to the battery stats, you will be able to use, you will be able to see the use it from the last full charge instead of the last 24 hours which you have in pixel by default and to be honest that actually does not look good this one is quite good if you compare it with the pixel one where you can see the battery use it from the last full charge it's just my opinion of course if i move on to vibration and haptics option what i found here is the in call vibration options which are actually too good if you want to enable this thing you can and for me i definitely use this feature i mean almost every customer if this feature is available i will definitely enable this thing this is super useful for a day-to-day -day usage wallpapers and style actually does not have any major changes but let me show you like app grid which is quite important we only have three options 3 into 3 4 into 4 and 5 into 5 no major things to customize like an app grid but as i mentioned at the starting of the video that if you want to use any other launcher you can what you need to do is you can use magisk module for that you can install apk for that it's up to you this version does not include face unlock or app lock but yes if you want to use the face unlock you can use other customs like with november security patch a lot of customs are adapting app lock app, sorry app lock not face lock actually but for now like in arrow OS, while making this video that option is not present last but not the least here comes some system options for example gestures which include three button navigation and the gesture one where you can simply hide the gesture bar if you want to but yes you cannot simply you can simply cannot hide the space below the keyboard but other than else things are same swipe to screenshot is also present we also have the advanced restart options which actually should be included in almost every custom like if you're a custom room user you definitely need this thing but other than else this is all this is all from today's short and simple video this is about arrow os if you want to install this build link is available in the description thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one goodbye